Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to set up a wireless network on your Pandabore um, that's running on Ubuntu server. Okay, so I have um, written the uh, instruction uh, step by step how to uh, set up a wireless network on your Pandabore. So I'm going to walk through you to uh, each step. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my the, the system that I'm running on. So the version of Ubuntu server that I'm using right now is the 12.04 uh, version. And you can use the cat and then the uh, etc and then LSB release. They changed the way you um, uh, LSB release. They changed it f from uh, a command where you can use it on the command line to where you have to use the cat now. But that's not relevant. Uh, what's important is that uh, you know what kind of kernel I'm using. So let's just follow the uh, the instruction here. So so um, first thing you check your version, and then uh, let's check the uh, the other part. You name ARV. So the kernel I'm using is the 3.2 version. So if um, you follow this instruction and maybe you run on the Ubuntu 11. There might be uh, this might be the, um, the f you know the reason why it's not working because the uh, I'm using the latest version of Ubuntu. So all right, let's uh, the next step is that you need to uh, make sure that your system's up to date. So we're gonna use the uh, one two punch here: the sudo app get update and the sudo app get upgrade first. Okay, so I'm gonna do it here: sudo app app get update and just enter your password this shouldn't take too long because I already updated my system and I'm just showing you these uh, step by step so yep yeah. and then you should do uh, sudo app get update upgrade upgrade okay there shouldn't be anything new okay so my system's up to date make sure yours is also up to date so the next step we should do is we need to install the wireless tools and that that will allow us to use the um, IW config to uh, and then uh, IW list and so on and it's really useful for wireless settings and uh, configuration stuff okay sudo app get wireless tools okay oh I forgot to put install so <laughs> how embarrassing alright I should put yeah let's install here Alright, it's gonna check up the package here. Make sure you have your Ethernet uh, cable connected to the panda board because you uh, need internet connection to download these uh, news tools. Alright, so we got the tool. Now we can, um, let's look up our instruction again. Uh, the next part is we're gonna scan, uh, check for available wireless cards, and we should have only one. Okay. So I do uh, IW config. So it should list. So on the panda board, there's only uh, there's a wireless card there, it's, uh, and it's, it's been assigned as W LAN wireless LAN zero, and you can see. Uh, it's not uh it's not activate right now so it's it's that's why it's labeled not associated and we can see you can see some other parameters uh, associated with this uh, wireless card okay and then the rest is uh that's not wireless so that's why I say no wireless extension because that's the ethernet that's a LAN local area network not the wireless one okay so uh, so our software is up and running Next thing we need to do is make sure that you have your uh, you're in the, inside the uh, area of the router. So 
this um, command sudo uh, sudo iw list uh, iw list and then use your your wireless car and then you do scan and let's just scan for a router network is down well um, we can skip this stuff for now I think I messed up on the instruction part but that's not really important it's just uh, I think it works when you set up the wireless car but let's skip this step for now uh, okay the next thing you need to do is very important is you need to get a piece of paper or a notepad and you need to get all your wireless security details like the uh, encry encryption types uh, like WPA uh, or WEP whatever it is or open if it's open or not and f as you can get the, all the information from your Wi-Fi router uh, um, and I'll show you in a minute and then I, I want to point out this this uh, very important website is uh, how to uh, instruction they, they tell you it's, it's called search on Google how to wireless security WPA one to leap so on and basically it tells you everything you need to know okay and that's how explains all the parameters here and um, let's see uh, let's see the second website that I recommend looking at for uh, more details if you don't get uh, you don't know what to do is this one uh, it's called adventures in the silicon uh, and then it has the uh, pendabor set up Wi-Fi on command line Ubuntu okay uh, and the other third website is not really important but explains some of the error you might get if you use uh, other ways to set up your wireless uh, card is uh, this website is it, um, is from the superuser.com and it's, it's the title is can you explain how to understand what is IW config command display in Ubuntu and on the like about the middle part is where I've this is uh, where it explains some of the errors that I, I've seen earlier and it has to do with the uh, types of encryption so make sure you look over these three websites especially this one okay Okay, so uh, that was a little sidetrack. So let's get back to uh, getting all the wireless security details. So I'm going to log to my uh, uh, router and I'm going to look at my wireless setting. Okay. Look, okay. So if, if I don't know about yours, uh, um, router, but mine, when I click on the wireless setting, uh, I can look at all the uh, relevant information like the uh, SSID. That's the ID being broadcast from the router and to any devices. And my network is not hidden, so uh, that's something you need to uh, consider whether it's hidden or it's open uh, broadcast. Okay, my channel is 11. That's default. So that's this is AO2.11 IEEE uh, standard. And then uh, this is where the uh, this is where you need to pay attention is the, what type of security option encryption you're using. Mine is WPA, P, uh, PSK, and then the uh, encryption type is uh, TKIP. Uh, the other type you might see or might have is that the AES, but I'm using this one. Another way you can look up your uh, uh, wireless setting is by click on down here and then click right click on this one on, uh, on your connection and click on properties and you can see it's WPA or not or what kind of encryption type okay another thing that's not shown here is the passphrase and I assume that you know your own passphrase and your SSID so keep that in mind uh, put that somewhere safe and then we're going to use it later on the next thing we need to do is we need to install the WPA uh, supplicant software okay so I'm going to my back to my uh, server, uh, my open server, and I'm going to do sudo app get install, and then uh, wpa uh, underscore wait no wpa uh, supplicant. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and then it's going to install the tool so that you can. Um, work with the WPA type of uh, encry encryption which is the one I'm using so I mean you may not find this useful but if you have WPA uh, encryption and this is the tool you want to get and, and and on this website they also talk about um, various type of other uh, encryption type and they have example configuration here 
and explain everything in detail. But the whole point here is that I'm gonna go walk walk through the, this process with you. So it's finished uh, installing uh, that. So let's go back to our uh, instr uh, instruction here. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to generate a uh, hex key uh, that is associated with the SSID and the passphrase. So the uh, command line uh, com uh, function uh, tool from the WPA supplicant is the WPA underscore passphrase. And it requires two inputs, an, uh, an SSID and a passphrase. Your SSID is the uh, name here. Mine is broken sword. And my passphrase is, is you know your passphrase, <laughs> and then you use that to generate uh, a hex, um, the hex key, which you're gonna put into another file. Um, so, which I'm explaining later on. Okay. So let's first. Uh, well, let me just, uh, go ahead and stop this video, and uh, because it's getting a little long, and I don't want it messed up. But in part two, we will be talking about how to generate a hex key with the WPA passphrase command. See you then. Thanks.